This will be a day long remembered. Now I am the master. Welcome to another episode of Legends and Theories, and welcome to my breakdown of the Black Adam trailer. There's a lot more videos that I thought coming out today with this, and well, there's been some Lego reveals. I'm going to wait until maybe tomorrow or Friday to release that, because honestly, I just have been recording a bunch of videos with a Kenobi, Miss Marvel, and then tomorrow's review of Doctor Strange. So yeah, I'm just not going to be recording anything else, and I should be streaming some more Skywalker Saga in a little bit, but we'll see if I have time for that. Black Adam, what have your powers ever given to you? Nothing but heartache. We first see Kent Nelson, aka Dr. Fate, giving a speech to Black Adam saying that his powers give him nothing but heartache. And that's uh, just a really nice way to start it off, and I'm excited to see Dr. Fate in this. But also, I'm really excited to see Black Adam in this because, well, it's his movie. But it's also going to be cool to see someone powerful like Dr. Fate team up with him. I was a slave until I died. Then, I was reborn a god. My son sacrificed his life to save me. Now, I kneel before no one. We then get to see a bunch of Black Adam's origin. We can see that he was a slave who was killed. And then he got his powers most likely from the wizard Shazam. Unless they decided to do it differently in this movie. I'm guessing we will be seeing the return of the wizard Shazam. Who was obviously last in the movie Shazam. And with this... It'll be really cool to see him develop and change, and I am really excited to see how this character is done, because it looks like it's going to be done really well based on this trailer. Going on outside when they stay from. In this world, they're heroes. I feel the pain of my city wherever I go. And they're villains. Heroes don't kill people. Well, I do. And then we get this awesome scene where I believe it's Hawkman talking to Black Adam, where he says that there are heroes and villains, and heroes don't kill people, and he just simply responds that he does. And I think that's just a really cool moment and to show that Black Adam is going to be a really different character with many not wanting to kill unless it's necessary. Well, it's a little different than the DCEU. But with this, it's showing that yeah, they don't really want to kill, but Black Adam points out that he's going to kill whatever he wants to, and they're not going to be able to stop him, and he still thinks himself as a hero, which is going to be interesting to see. My vision has shown me the future. You have two choices. You can be the destroyer of this world. Or you can be its savior. That's up to you. We then get Dr. Fate explaining to Black Adam that he could either be the savior or destroyer of this world. It looks really cool as we get to see a little bit better look at the suit. And him with the hood up. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a really cool movie. Let's take a look at the last clip and then I'll give my full thoughts on the trailer. Behind you! Did he just catch a rocket? He got a rocket. We 
didn't get to see Black Adam catching a missile launched at him. And just to see how powerful he is, we see that he survives this explosion and that seems that he's relatively unharmed, although we can't fully see that yet. But so this looks like it's going to be an awesome movie. It's releasing in October. I think it's the first DC movie since the Batman and I feel a little disappointed that they're all being delayed. Since we're supposed to get like two or three DC movies this year. But, well, at least in theaters, because we're getting like like two or three more animated ones, I think. I, I don't remember what else is coming out this year. I don't really care about League of Super Pets, but... There is Battle of the Super Sons and Green Lantern will wear my power that is still coming out in terms of animated. And there's probably going to be a few other shows that come out. And I'm not sure when they're coming out. But yeah, I'm really disappointed that we're not going to be seeing any more of DC movies until really October. But still, this looks like it's going to be an interesting movie, and I'm really excited for it. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you on the next episode of Legends and Theories. Thank you for watching this episode of Legends and Theories. Please subscribe, like the video. Share the video, leave a comment, check out the video on screen, and may the force be with you.